So number 6, a wall clock has a pendulum length of 36 cm. It swings through an angle of 21 degree. Find the total distance covered by the pendulum in one complete oscillation in cm. So we see here we have this with pendulum. So what does it mean by complete oscillation? So this is going here and when it's going back to its place, it is one complete oscillation. So we see here, this one is 21 degree and the length of the pendulum is 36 cm. So the arc is traveling. So we know that S is equal to R theta. This is the radius and this is angle in radian. So we have in degree. So 21 degree to radian is equal to so, degree to radian, you have to divide with 180. So, pi over 180. So, 21 times 3.142 divided by 180, uh, we get 0.3666. So, here you have the radian. So, R is 36 cm. So, theta is 0.3666. So, we get 13.1976 cm so this is in cm so you see here one complete oscillation means it's going and going back to its place so you have to multiply with 2 so complete oscillation is equal to 2 times 13.1976 so we get 26.395 cm so the diagram on the right shows measurement of a car tire. What is the distance travel if it makes 50 complete oscillation? So we know that one rotation is equal to 2 pi r. So we see here the distance here to here 14 plus 38 plus 14 is equal to 66 cm. So the radius is equal to 33 cm. So Circumference is equal to 2 times pi is 3.142. So the radius of the tire is 33. So here we get 207.372 cm. So A, 50 complete oscillation. 50 oscillation is equal to 207.372 times 50 is equal to 10 368.6 cm so this is cm so it wanted in meter so you divide by 100 you get so divide by 100 so 103.686 meter mm. So B, 1000 complete, so you just multiply 207.372 cm times 1000. So here we get, so 1000, so 207.372 cm. So in meter, you divide by 100 back, you get 2073.72 meter.